Katie and my entire family. I wasn't really planning to get famous through my family and stuff, but hey, views are views, right? And it's not really about them, it's about you, Katie. I'm sending these videos to you. And of course I agree Miley Cyrus is a horrible role model for children and everybody else on the face of the planet. I know it's old news, but I just think it's weird to be pole dancing on an ice cream truck and then get an award and thank Jesus for it. Like, it's just weird. Not exactly how I would go about it. Also, you would make a really great Harry. <laughs> Harry? Harry Potter? Great segue! So today I'm talking about my favorite thing and your favorite thing, Harry Potter. I wanted to talk about Harry Potter today because it's really special to both of us and I think it's a really magical thing. That was really corny and I'm not entirely sure why you ever let me talk ever. Moving on. So we all know how totally awesome Harry Potter is, but I think what's equally as awesome is the effect it's had on our culture. One of my favorite effects on culture is a Harry Potter musical, which is a musical made by students at University of Michigan, and it's all about Harry Potter, which is just really, really cool. Also, I'm really excited that Darren Chris, the guy who plays Harry Potter in a Harry Potter musical, is gonna be on Glee. Like, two of my favorite things put together and I'm really excited. And I strongly believe that Harry Potter has brought you and I closer as friends, which is also really, really cool. Also, when you and I get a squillion dollars, we're taking a trip to the Harry Potter theme park. That's happening. Can you imagine a whole world dedicated to Harry Potter? Also, I don't think I would read as much if I didn't read Harry Potter. It really got me into books when I was younger. Then there's Wizard Rock. Wizard Rock was a really big hit for a long time of basically a bunch of bands that wrote songs about Harry Potter, which was pretty cool. When I was in sixth grade, a friend of mine and myself started a band called the Acapella Apothecary, mainly because neither of us could play instruments and all we really wanted to do was sing. We wrote one song, it sucked. It was about page 628, which is the first page that Ron and Hermione kiss. And we never really wrote music to it, just lyrics, but the lyrics, they were really, really bad. Page 628 is the best page ever. Feels like we've been waiting for it forever. Now that it's finally here, we can all jump and cheer because Ron and Hermione finally got together, or at least kissed. They've always bickered, always hated, but Hermione hates everyone Ron's ever dated. And Ron's jealousy is like a burning fire. His want to be with her is very dire. But he could never let her know, and she could never ever let him go. But now, they just keep kissing, they just want more. Who cares, it's the middle of a war. They made Harry feel awkward, but who really cares? They're just as cute and fuzzy as teddy bears. <sighs> well, at least I'm not that awkward anymore, right? <laughs> Pudding break! And then there's also the society called the Harry Potter Alliance that a lot of nerd fighters are a part of, which is based off the Dumbledore's army philosophy of decreasing more world suck, which is really cool that Harry Potter put that much influence on the world. They donated over 14,000 books across the world, including 4,000 to a youth village in Rwanda. Katie, I just think it's really great that there's something for us nerd fighters that puts us a little closer to the cool kids and a little bit more above the Trekkies. Katie, that's all I got. DFTBA. Lumos!